holy shit. Yellowstone National Park is renowned for its geothermal wonders, but it's the threats beneath its surface that draw attention. Events like the Black Diamond Pool eruption and recent seismic activity at Steamboat Geyser remind us that the park is a vulnerable place. This article examines Yellowstone's spectacular hydrothermal activity and its scientific significance. Yellowstone National Park is renowned for its geothermal wonders, but it's the threats beneath its surface that draw attention. Events like the Black Diamond Pool eruption and recent seismic activity at Steamboat Geyser remind us that the park is a vulnerable place. This article examines Yellowstone's spectacular hydrothermal activity and its scientific significance. Although no one was injured, the impact of the explosion demonstrated the unpredictable nature of Yellowstone's steam features. The most spectacular explosions are caused by liquid water turning to steam in substructure pipes and erupting into powerful eruptions if people get too close. While hydrothermal eruptions like this are common in Yellowstone, the scale of the Black Diamond Pool eruption was extraordinary. Less frequent eruptions, with craters up to 3 meters in diameter, occur several times a year and generally go unreported because they occur at night or in the wilderness. This reminds us of Yellowstone's unpredictable power, emphasizing the importance of reporting and ongoing preparedness in such a spectacular place. Prior to the 2024 Black Diamond Pool eruption, Excelsior Geyser in the Midway Geyser Basin was one of Yellowstone's most effective eruption sites. This geyser first became active in the late 1800s, and its eruptions spewed water and rock up to 100 meters into the air, accompanied by giant steam clouds that could be seen from 160 kilometers away. These eruptions were so powerful that they generated powerful earthquakes that shook and shattered the geyser walls with each eruption. The frequency of these eruptions was astonishing, with intervals as short as an hour often lasting for minutes. This spectacular display was powerful enough to cause significant increases in river flow in the surrounding area, and park officials felt the geyser deserved the name Excelsior for this study due to the magnificence of its eruptions. However, in the late 1800s, the geyser collapsed and lay dormant for most of the next century, only briefly reactivating in 1985. Although bubbling and small eruptions are relatively rare, Excelsior's activity has become less sporadic in recent years, though it remains unpredictable, similar to Yellowstone's reawakening after 160,000 years. Beyond its explosive hydrothermal phenomena, Yellowstone's steamboat geyser continues to captivate researchers and the public. The world's tallest geyser has seen increased activity in recent years, with occasional small eruptions since December 2024. This prompted the United States Geological Survey USGS, to raise the alert level for the geyser, hoping to avoid a major eruption as early as 2025. While the likelihood of an eruption remains uncertain, the recent increase in seismic activity in the region, including 82 earthquakes through December 2024 alone, suggests that geological changes are now occurring on a large scale. Despite this, the risk of a catastrophic volcanic eruption remains low, but it remains a fascinating topic for those currently fascinated by the Earth's immense power. Yellowstone remains a hotbed of Earth's thermal activity, like this one, where Iceland discovered energy beneath the snow 50 years ago, from the eruptions of Black Diamond Pool and Steamboat Geyser to the history of Excelsior Geyser. While the scale of these eruptions remains unknown, they highlight the potential for chaos and uncertainty on the planet. Yellowstone's natural beauty and environment are critical to scientific monitoring, and visitors are urged to exercise caution and respect.